everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on the tour of the 2022 Winnebago Bolt Model 70 BL. Let's get started. Nice long running board along the bottom. On the top there's a big awning. In the sliding door there's a big opening window. Another opening window. And yet another opening window in the rear area. LED light above. Down here there's cable and a 12 volt. Solar input. And two 110 outlets. Down below here is the sewer hose storage. Now check out these tandem tires. Okay, let's move to the rear. There's a nice ladder that you can put in various places. Down below there's the LP connection for an outdoor grill. Backup sensors. 5,000 pound tow hitch, a seven pin connection. Let's open up these rear doors. On the driver's side, there's the water pump switch and two light switches. Here's the outdoor shower. On the passenger side, this is like a little garage area. Spray hose. Now each door has some storage space with netting. Up above, there's a backup camera, roll down bug screen, and storage for the pedestal tabletop leg. There's also a nice LED light. Okay, let's move over to the driver's side. LED light above. Big opening window. 30 amp connection. Cable. Gray waste tank drain. A small opening window. Down below, there's a black waste tank drain, another gray waste tank drain, and a drain pump switch. Opening window right here. Truma exhaust. Black waste tank flush inlet. City fill tank fill. This is the LP fill station. Running board for the driver and diesel input. All right, moving to the front, there are LED headlights, front parking sensors, Okay, let's take a look inside. Power sliding door. Right here at the entrance, there's the winterization valve and the gravity water fill. Let me step inside. And this is what it looks like inside. A 
All right, so let's start with the cockpit area. So the seats are really soft and there's this adjustable armrest. I do feel quite comfortable. There are three settings for memory seat positions and there are heated seats. Now the steering wheel has lots of nice controls and the controls on the left controls the information center right here in front of the steering wheel and the ones on the right controls the infotainment center right here and it is a touch, touch screen. Now let's take a look at all the cup holders. There are four right here in the center. There are two up here on the dash in front of the driver, two more up on the dash in front of the passenger, and one in each door. Below these cup holders in the center, there is a USB port and a 12 volt. Moving up onto the dash, there's this little compartment here where you can wirelessly charge your cell phone. There are two USB ports and there's even a connection where you can connect your cell phone so that it connects with the infotainment center up here. And there's a 12 volt. Nice ledge here in front of the passenger. Okay, there's even this little shelving area on top of the driver and the passenger. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the van. Now, right above the driver and passenger seat, there's this headliner shelf and it goes back pretty far and it's pretty long. Moving down below, below the passenger seat, there's the fire extinguisher and there's a little netting to store some items. There's even a 110 outlet, two 110 outlets and a couple of USB ports. Now behind the passenger seat, there's this lagoon style table and it easily flips up like so. And it's a nice lightweight bamboo. It even has a little area to set a drink. Now this is on a ram track also. And it's conveniently located above the two 110 outlets and the two USB ports I just showed you. Behind the driver's seat, there's another netting area where you can store some items. And there's this little bench seating, which has a over-the-shoulder seat belt. And a nice pedestal tabletop. It's a nice bamboo look. And above, there are two USB ports and a 12 volt. So that'll come in handy if you're working here and you need to charge some of your devices. Right on the side of me, there's an opening window with a screen. The window opens up like that. And here's an additional pull down screen and a privacy shade. Above the window, there's this ram track with a basket to help store some items. A push on and off light. There's a light switch here and that controls the accent lighting where the headliner shelf is. Now let's check out this cabinet above. good storage space. There are two 110 outlets, a 12 volt and two USB ports. Okay, the
the sliding door area has this roll down bug screen. There's this nice big window right in the sliding door and it opens and has a screen. Right on the side here is the Volta system. There's the awning in and out switch, the awning on off light, and an outdoor light switch, and three more light switches on the side of that. Let's move on to the kitchen. Right here on the side is a nice little area where you can store some items. Check out all this counter space. There's a one burner induction cooktop, a covered sink. This is actually a pretty big sink. Not so much too deep, but it is pretty wide. Curved faucet. Below the induction cooktop is the microwave. It's not convection, but it does have some nice automatic sensors. Above the microwave, there's a drawer. It's a good size. Below the microwave, there's another drawer. It's a decent size. And one more drawer right underneath. A nice little tiny drawer. Okay. Under the sink, there's yet another drawer. And below that is the refrigerator. Now it does have the floppy freezer door, but it is a decent size. It goes back pretty far, nice and deep. And you have two shelving areas and two pull-out bins at the bottom. There's even this little ice cube tray that it comes with. In the door, there are three shelves. They are not adjustable. And the bottom one allows for you to store tall items. Moving up, right under the upper cabinets, there's a push light to help you see what you're doing on the countertop. There's two 110 outlets. You can plug in some appliances. Another light. And there's this ram track system with a basket. Right in front of the sink is this big window that does open. Slides right across nice screened area. And it has a pull up privacy shade. Right across from the kitchen area there are some controls. Now this is a four season van so here is a switch for your water tank heater, a switch for your holding tank heater, your water pump, tank level, battery level, this is your power control system, your Truma system, which heats the cabin and your water, and a light switch for the bathroom. Now let's check out the bathroom. So I'm gonna open up the bathroom door, and it is a folding door, and this is what it looks like inside. So I'm going to step in and check it out. And it's not too big, but I do have decent arm room this way. Not as much this way, but it's not too bad. Over here, there's a hook to hang a towel. A nice basket on top to put your products in. cute little window on the side here. It 
does have a nice screen, so it does open up. There's even an additional pull down screen and a privacy shade. The shower head seems pretty nice and there is a start stop switch. Right here in the bathroom, there's a water pump switch and a shower drain switch. The toilet is a pretty good size and there's a spray hose right there. Down below, they have this wooden tray Up above, there's an air vent, the light, and a pull-down handle. Okay, that pretty much does it for this bathroom. Now let's check out all the overhead cabinet storage. Right above the kitchen counter, there's this nice big area and it is divided there's a little cubby over here on the right and the one in front is a little bigger beside that one there's a bigger one this is all one piece on the side of that one there's another one, and this one has two 110 outlets, a cable, and an HDMI. The rear cabinet is humongous. There is so much space in there. That is pretty big. I'm gonna show you just how big it is. Let's take a look underneath. All of this is that interior storage space above. Now I'm on the driver's side and here's another cabinet with a good amount of space. On the side of that, there's this wardrobe cabinet and there are two adjustable shelves. I'm not seeing a hanging rod but it's a good size. On the passenger side, there's a TV and it does swivel out. And it has this nice big JBL speaker right on top. On the side of the bench seating here, right on the side of the kitchen counter, there's a couple of USB ports a 12 volt and two 110s. Now this bench seating does have some storage underneath it, so I'm gonna show you. There's a couple of bins over here. The bench seating on the driver's side also has some storage. A couple more bins, small bins and a nice big one back here. Back here, there's also two 110 outlets. Now the bench seating on the driver's side has seat belts for two people. And the bench seating on the passenger side has a seat belt for one person back here. Now these rear bench seats also serve as twin beds and they do have a good amount of room all on their own, but I'm going to show you how to make them into one big bed. So, okay, so first you pull this part out, you have to lift it a little and then set it down. It has its own legs and you grab the cushion on the side, grab the other cushion. And 
and there you go. Now you've got one big bed and there is plenty of room back here. Yeah, it's pretty nice and open. Big windows all around. Nice. And someone that is a little taller than me, I'm 5'4", would probably have to be aware of the headroom that they have when they are under this cabinet. All right, let's take it apart. Put that one back on that side. The other one goes on the opposite side. And then you just fold this back in. Simple as that. Back here is the low profile AC and over here is a good sized air vent. This RV has another little sleeping area and it is using the dinette area. So first remove the pedestal tabletop. Then remove the backrest and the seated part. So I want to show you that there's also some storage in here. That's a good amount of storage right behind this bench seat. Okay, so let's pull up on this handle. Have that click into place. Now I'm going to pull the whole thing over and set it down. Now I'm just going to grab the cushions and place them on top. And there you go. There's a nice little sleeping area for a young child. And that's about as big as it is. So you've got a little extra space for someone. And then to put it back as a bench seating area just remove the cushions pull back up on this set it in place pull on this little ring it goes down nice and easy set that down let's grab the seated part first set that back down and this is the backrest and it snaps into place. And there you go. And right below this bench area, there are two 110 outlets. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2022 Winnebago Bolts. There is a lot of room in here, although it does get a little tight between the bathroom and the refrigerator. There is so much storage in this B-Class RV. Loving the kitchen area, lots of counter space, big windows all around, and there's even some great little touches such as the ram tracks throughout and the extra sleeping quarters, not to mention the pedestal table and the lagoon tabletop. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for some future videos. Bye for now.